I assume by now you have looked at some patches or created some notes, and now you wonder what they do or how they can be used. Luckily, almost every note comes with a help file. This is a little patch that shows some common usage of the node. The magic key is F1. If I click on the patch and hit the F1 key, a new patch will open. This is the main help file. In this file, you can read some short help and you can also use it as a reminder to see what those short keys are again. We can close this patch by pressing Ctrl W and if it asks you to save, just say no. We create a node, let's say the linear spread. We select it and hit the F1 key. A new patch opens and shows us a bit more about linear spread and it shows a little example. We see some nodes, some text and the renderer. Now if I hover above this renderer it says GDI. So this is a GDI renderer. When I hover above the output pin of a linear spread, I can see we have four slices. One connection goes to the point node, which draws the four plus symbols. And another connection goes to the get slice node. When I hover above the output pin of the get slice node, I see it outputs only one slice. So this should mean that the get slice node does something with the values from the linear spread and then somehow magically converts it to one slice. And indeed it does. The get slice takes one slice or even more if you test the spread and it outputs only that slice and this slice is used to draw a circle so if I change the index of the get slice node another slice of the linear spread will be selected and that slice goes to the circle again so this means that the circle will be drawn on a different location of the renderer you can also read some help text around the nodes this is basically an IO box string but with all the pins turned off so they are hidden to make this common text, double left click and start typing a text. At first VVV thinks you want to create a node, but when you type in a spacebar, VVV understands you want to make a comment. So a good practice for this is just to start your comments with a spacebar. And click to confirm. This help file introduces even more unknown nodes. And at the bottom you can see related or similar nodes. So just select the node you're interested in and hit the F1 key again. Let's do that for this little group node. And we get another patch again if you press F1. Going through help files like this is a great way to learn VVV. And after a while you will understand how all the nodes and connections interact with each other. This patch, by the way, groups all the round racks to one group and then group that group again with the yellow round rack. And this LFO node just tells the other group if you want to show the yellow round rack or the other round racks on top of your renderer. After opening a few help files, we will end up with a lot of open patches and that can become a bit messy. So we just select our patch and hit Ctrl W. We want to save it No to close them all up again. Since the help file is just a patch, like any other patch, PVV asks if you want to save it. If we say yes, then the next time I open this help file again, it will look like this. So I just press no, because I don't want the comments I made to be saved. Pressing F1 on every node you see is the best way to learn VVV.